just eyeballing these measurements because it's going to be a jig for holding up a couple of PVC pipes. I can see I'm going to need a couple of clamps on this one. That's going to put some torque on it. Okay. Quick double check to make sure I got the size right before I get too far. Oh, that's going to be perfect. Nice thing about these adjustable auger bits is almost a full set in one bit. Anything over one inch, no worries. It takes it all the way out to three. And with a good sharp cutter, now this pine is not a problem at all as you can see. I have to admit, if I had cut the square shank off of this and was trying to use it with a power drill, scare the hell out of me. That single cutter does have a tendency to dig in. And if I hadn't, if I didn't have the control of having one hand on the handle and the other hand on the top, and being the motive force of the whole thing, if that caught, it would hurt. So, I can see how people would be a little scared of them. But that's only because they're not using them right. Bracing a bit, piece of cake. This is a Miller Falls 732B. It's another one that belonged to my father-in-law. He was a supervisor on a lineman's truck for Detroit Edison. And he was used to working with the best tools, so when he bought tools, he bought good ones. I think I'm going to put a shim in there. Just to give them an, enough height so that they're supported. And that should work quite well. This looks kind of like a toy saw, but it's not. It's a Keystone Defender. It's a lesser known brand of distant saw, and it has the warranted, warranted superior on the handle, distance in the, in the etch on the blade, 
and it has a picture of a uh, person on a bobsled going downhill at a high rate of speed. The thing I like about it is not only is it small enough to get in there and do small parts, I've used it to cut doors on cabinets and do little trim work on mounted things that it's hard to get a full size saw in, but also it's very fine teeth. It's 10 teeth per inch. So cutting this plywood, which would tend to splinter on me, works pretty well. If I had to use that big eight tooth on it, it would have chunked up all over the place. I need to make another cut because I'm going to put two shims in it. Piece of scrap plywood used up. Old Smealock here again. Thanks for watching. Have you subscribed yet? If you enjoyed the video, please take a moment and click the thumbs up.